One, my mic is on. It's time. Shut the fuck up. And two, it's time for the funny part. It's fun for the it's time for not the funny part, but the more gamer part of this game. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of fucking nervous right now. Anyway, it's the day of festival. <laughs> All days I expected this from the theater where I walking home, walking to school to Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering a phone. I consider going to the house to wake her up, but the sight is a little too much. Meanwhile, pre preparations for the festival should be nearly complete. The banner Yuri and I painted is gently rolled. It's dry and I gently rolled it up to take it with me. She sent me a pleasant text reminding me not to forget anything. And I reassured her. Funnily enough, I probably felt the same way not to keep up there. I'm more excited much for it to be over so I can spend time with Yuri and Yuri at this festival. And her Monica. I'm sure the event will be great too. <laughs> Hope. You're the first one here. Things are being early. That's funny. I thought Yuri would be here by now. Monica's placing little booklets on each of the to the on each of the desks in the classroom. And they must be the ones prepared to have all their poems were before me. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like, and somebody did. So, that would be the one I'm performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Siri with you. Yeah, she always helped again. Ah, dummy. You think on days like, like this, it is, it's important she tried a little harder. She tried to say that. I say that, but I still remember what Siri told me yesterday. I still make feel awful. No, it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because it's the way I'm used to thinking. But, I mean, I should have gone to work her up after all. <laughs> you should have to take, you should take a little responsibility for help, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? I, I know, I know, Monica, I fucking left her hanging. It's an exchange. Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm a club president, after all. But, I stand embarrassed. Is she really telling that quickly? There were a couple now? I didn't plan to bring up with anyone yet. Jeez. You know a full story, so don't worry. I probably know more about it than you think. Huh? Mom's being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt chilled out of my spine after hearing that. Hey, don't check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets and laid down on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Some this something like this will definitely help people take the clubs more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each one of those poems nearly pointed out its own page, giving it almost a professional feel. I recognize the novelty of Yuri's poems from one day performed during practice. What's this? I have a serious poem. It doesn't want to practice. It's the one I haven't read before. I don't want to read it. I'm not reading it. I'm not reading it. Don't ask me to fucking read this shit. You guys have fun with that motherfucker. Uh, what is this? You almost pull my get a pin in my stomach. Yeah, me too. Oh, what's wrong? Uh, nothing. So this poem feels completely different from something uh, everything else here is written. More than that. I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna get Siri, so uh oh, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I could clearly leave the classroom. Don't scare yourself. I call Ma Mona calls out for me. I could do my piece. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna because of the the stress is causing me, I'm actually just gonna make this a short episode because fucking hell my my anxiety is getting up there, like, holy fuck. What am I thinking? I should have tried a little hard, Siri. It's not a big deal for this way for a help her wake up. Even a simple gesture wake walking to her makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday things would be the same as they always been. That's all she needs, and that's all I want to give her. I reached Siri's house and knocked on the door. It makes her convinced that she's not picking up her phone either. And I can straight open the door and let myself in. Siri? She really is a heavy sleeper. God fucking damn it. I swallow. Can't believe I end up doing this after all. Just getting up around the house. At least something a boyfriend would, would do one, isn't it? And in case, it just feels right. Outside Sarah's room, I knock on her door. Say, are you? Wake up, dummy. I turn it off. There's no response. Oh, what the fuck? I got this coming. And am I gonna go down? No. I didn't want to do this into a room like this. It's kind of breach privacy. So there's no choice. You know I had to. I gently open the door. Say already. There it is. Oh, I fucking hate this scene. 
I I I love the memes, but I fucking hate this scene. I keep on getting that fucking notification that um thing just Oh god Fuck sakes Fuck sakes <laughs> I love this scene because of the memes and all that shit but I fucking hate it because it gives me so much goddamn anxiety. Holy fuck. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Yes, that, that picture, where I just shut up, is the thumbnail. Fuck you. Oh, my God. I wrong. I don't know why I'm not used to this damn scene still. I literally played a whole fucking mod, a shit post mod based on this damn scene. And I am still. <sighs> I'm guessing because in the mods, like, it's a whole you can do whatever the fuck you want kind of thing. But this is a base game and it just, oh, it just fucks with you. Well, I'm gonna see what the fuck's happening. I'm gonna get back. Have fun watching this for a bit. Yeah, I know I didn't pause my recording. I literally just decided to mute my mic and want to go do some shit. It's been a couple minutes. <laughs> uh, I'm still not used to this scene. Anyway, <laughs> you're wondering why I do this? Uh, I didn't eat all day. My family just came home. Well, the only thing I ate was um, strawberries and cream butter. Nah, I just basically ate nothing. Not even at work. Anyway, what the hell? What the hell? This is a nightmare. It has to be. It isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Siri so wouldn't do this. Everything up to this, up until everything was normal two few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my just shown me. I heard I suppressed her to vomit just yesterday. I told her I'd be there for her. I told her what's best, and I know what's best, and that everything will be okay. And why? Why'd she do this? How could she? I used to be hopeless, so helpless. What did I do wrong? Confessing to her. I shouldn't confess to her. That's not what she needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. And why did confess her and make you feel even worse? Why am I so selfish? It's my fault. My strong thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. I just spend more time with her. I should if I spend more time with her. Walk to school and remain friends with her like it's always been. I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever. Nothing I can do can bring her back. In some game where I can reset and try something different. I only had one chance and I wasn't careful enough. I won't carry this guilt with me until I die. I think my life's more worth more than hers. But still, I couldn't do what she needed for me. And now, I can't take it back. Never, 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 never. We get it. <sighs> Fucking bonk. <laughs> ah, yes. Back to this hellhole. 
I am easily disturbed, yet I still decide to play it because of memes. I want to fucking die. Let's just... I, I, yeah, we're done with this episode, I told you. Ironically... You know what the ironic part is, though? For me? Aside the fact this is disturbing to me, this is actually one of my favorite songs in the whole fucking game. And you're wondering why? Because the name's a fucking pun! <laughs> I'm a fucking lunatic. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. I wanna die.